My name is Zoe, I'm 30 years old and I'm a fashion producer slash editorial coordinator at Vogue Netherlands. My name is Serena, I'm 40 years old, mom with three kids uh, and also working as a lead styling and photography at the Bijenkorf. My name is Artie, I'm the founder of The Collectives. Uh, that's a platform where you can uh, buy or rent pre-loved items. My name is Floortje, I live in Amsterdam and I work here as a model. And I love to collect bags. <laughs> the first bag uh, I think to start with is uh, my Chanel Classic Club bag. It's the first bag I got when I was 21, uh, turning 21 for my birthday. And I uh, got it part for my parents and part by uh, myself, so uh, we split. All right, so the first bag I brought is the Chanel Square Mini. It was in very good condition. I really love the 24 karat gold hardware because they don't make it uh, anymore, I believe. The bag I brought is the Bottega uh, Arco Toad in canvas. It can fit a lot. It can be used as a diaper mom bag, but also as a work bag. I brought uh, my favorite Chanel bag. It's a classic flat bag. Um, I think I sometimes use this also for daily. I also use it when I go out. So this was a birthday gift for myself. I think after Corona, uh, we all suffered from uh, hard times and I wanted to cheer myself up with this one. And then the second bag I brought, it's, um, this teeny tiny pink one I bought via Sack Lab bag from the 90s. And also I saw this really cool image uh, from the Chanel show in 1995, which shows Naomi Campbell wearing this one in a denim. And then recently I bought the this Dior bag. I think I never got so many compliments about the bag. What I find uh, very important is that my bag complements my outfit. And you have like two sides of people, the people who go for the shoes and the people who go for the bags. And I'm the one that goes uh, for the bag. When I first got my first designer bag from my father, I think that was, um, I don't know, a long time ago. And then I was like, oh my God. I think there my love was born for, um, for designer bags. I do uh, have a memorable handbag moment. So I bought my first uh, luxury bag at 16 um, and it was my first taste of luxury. So I did an internship at the time and I saved up all of my money, worked all of my spare time in a restaurant and I saved up for the bag. I do have a bag I dream about, which is the, the original mini Kelly or the Kelly pochette either a Kelly or a small Birkin, not sure yet. But I don't think I'm ever gonna find it. If you get it, you have to call me. <laughs> it's like the chain on a wallet bag from Chanel, but then, yeah, and actually they don't make it anymore. And I know it's not, but from the, um, the Piton leather. So one of my dream bags is the Chanel double-sided flat bag. It's a very rare piece and it's very hard to find. But as I said, I really like bags that are uh, conversation starters. Buying pre-loved, other than it's a sustainable option, um, it's also a great way to find very nice gems and rare pieces. And most of the times the quality of older pre-loved bags is better than what they're making now. You don't really need to have to buy new stuff because there's so much treasures in everybody's closet that they don't wear. Every morning when you wake up, you have your outfit together, you just grab a bag and you're like, yes, I treated myself with this one. I love this bag and I'm just gonna be a queen and rock this day. So I get a lot of questions how I get my bags and I feel, of course, very fortunate to have these, but it's hard work. So I would say definitely save money for it, open an extra bank account work your ass off and then really go for something that fits your personality and your style and that you'll fall in love with at first sight because love at first sight exists when it comes to bags <laughs> so I'll hope you'll find your favorite bag soon maybe at Sack Lab.